and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create an offset stroke effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let us start with this color for the background. You can copy that via the hex code if you want to use the same color. Make sure it's the foreground color, select the paint bucket tool and left click. Now we need the type tool, just left click and I type in offset stroke and I give it a different color. Maybe a, maybe a red color. Now this should be fine. I use Bodoni MT Regular as a font, but you can do it with any font that you wish. Press Ctrl T and then size it up. I press Ctrl A and I align it to the center. I've reduced the distance between the letters over here and the distance between the lines down here. I can work with that. Right click blending options on your text layer and we'll add a stroke. Make it white. And we want to have the opacity set to 100%. The size should be 5 pixels in this example. And make sure the position is outside. But it should be by default. Press OK. Now we copy that by pressing Ctrl J. So we've got the layer copied. Select the bottom one and then use the arrow keys while your move tool is activated. I'll go 5 to the right, 5 downwards. And once more 5 to the right, 5 downwards. So 10 pixels to the right and 10 downwards. That gives us a good effect. And now I want to get rid of the fill. So don't use the opacity. I'll show you what happens then. You can see that the stroke gets opaque as well. So we want to get rid of the fill and keep the stroke and that's the way to do it. So use the fill, set it to zero. We're almost done but you can see it's not a perfect offset. We want to place something in between and a way to do it is to go to the top text layer then right click blending options and we'll add a second stroke. Just click on a plus sign Go to the bottom one and we'll change the color to the background color. So whatever you use as a background, use this color. And now I'll increase the size of the stroke and you can see how it gives us these dividers between the offset stroke. I'll set it to 10. So the former ones were always 5 pixels as a stroke and I use 2 times the amount here. There are some details I want to work on, like here for example on the S letter. The K letter doesn't look perfect as well. And a way to work with that is to simply create a layer mask. So I'll create a layer mask on the bottom layer. It's now white, so everything is visible. I used the brush tool, so press B for that. Make sure black is your foreground color and that conceals. The hardness should be 100%. I size it down slightly and make sure the opacity of your brush is 100, which should be by default. And now I can paint on the layer mask and get rid of these strokes. And this is it. This is how you can create this offset stroke effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.